Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all really, really great. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I create this look right here. This is a really, you know, minimal, glowy and uh, winter makeup look. It's really easy to do. And I've used very minimal products to do this look. I've used uh, glowy products and tints to, you know, achieve this look. And this is really apt for every day during winters. It's quite hydrating, super easy to do. And it's very simple actually, and very, very beginner friendly. So if you guys are interested in knowing how I do this look, then you know the drill continue watching all right first things first uh, since it's going to be a glowy and dewy makeup look i really need to you know prep up my skin well with a strobe cream and in today's video i'm going to be using the ilana golden hour strobe cream which is an illuminating and hydrating strobe cream so uh yeah it looks really nice so far and uh, yeah i'm going to be using this one today all right uh, the texture is really nice it is white uh you know glowy so i'm using this as a highlighting uh primer as well because uh, it's going to prep the skin well so you can see it's a uh, very shimmery in texture it looks really beautiful beneath your base foundation or you know if you use bb creams it's going to look really beautiful and adds a lot of shine to your skin. So I'm gonna be using this all over my face. You can see it has a very like nice texture. It has an illuminating texture. That's what stroke creams are, you know, meant for. So this doesn't have any smell or fragrance, which is something I really like. I prefer products that do not have fragrance. And this one particularly uh, sounds good. So yeah, this is the prepped glowy um skin as you can see uh you can see the added glow to my face it looks really beautiful in person so uh yeah next i'm gonna move on with concealer and i'm using the maybelline uh eraser multi-use concealer the instant age rewind one one of my favorite concealers and i'm gonna use it directly under my eyes and on the forehead And you can also use it on, you know, your active pimple. I am currently having a very bad skin situation. So, yeah, I'm going to also add it here for prepping up my lids. To blend this, I'm using the Pack Concealer Brush. And this is the 215 Concealer Brush. It's a really useful concealer brush. And I'm going to just, you know, tap the product inside and uh, blend the concealer with tapping motions so that we do not lose coverage all right after blending the concealer i'm going to go on with my base product which i'm going to use today and today i'm going to be using the lacme 9 to 5 cc cream this has been one of my favorites um since day one like since the day i've started uh, you know actually doing makeup it's a really uh nice and uh, super affordable product for your daily use and it's actually good it has a nice coverage so yeah i'm in the shade beige and uh, the only thing is that they have a very limited uh, shade range which is something i really don't like about the brand i would love if the brand could come up with more shades and undertones because you know we all don't have the matching uh shades we're not all like we cannot lie in like four uh, general shades there are a lot of shades and undertones in indian skin tones and you know brands should really consider coming up with more tones and shades to suit every person so uh yeah you can blend the cc cream with a brush or just with your fingers i like to uh, you know apply it with my fingers because i feel it gives me a more natural and nicely blended look so yeah it feels quite hydrating as well it doesn't feel drying that is something i really like about uh, lacme cc creams and uh, this is looking really white right now but it's gonna settle to my actual uh, skin tone because you know i've just applied it so yeah 
I really feel if you blend the foundation or your you know base products with your fingers it actually gives you a better finish because you know our fingers tend to be warm and it really helps in blending everything nicely because of the warmth we have in our hands so uh yeah this is how it's looking it's looking really beautiful and a bit white but it's gonna settle just give it five minutes and you'll see how this settles to my actual skin tone and right now you can see it looks much more you know matching to my skin tone now i'm gonna go with a second layer of concealer just a little bit onto my under eyes just to conceal everything nicely and add some more coverage you can also add it to your um chin and forehead a bit for that highlighting effect it's totally your choice if you don't want to go with a second uh, you know coat of concealer then you can just skip this step but i really like uh, you know uh, to conceal my under eyes and overall eye area because it looks more flawless and uh, it looks quite light but you still get some coverage and that's the thing i like about this uh, base makeup because it looks light but you still have some coverage and it looks presentable it doesn't look like you've just come up like that <laughs> so it looks nicely done and still has that light voila uh, effect now we're going to set the concealer with the fit me compact powder this is one of my favorite compact powders i love using this and it has been like my best friend since day one as well so yeah all the products i'm using in this video are very basic and you know beginner friendly as well so uh, you easily get all these products available in the market and plus they are quite affordable so it's like a win-win thing you get the products easily they are affordable and super easy to use so yeah if you like to go for matte bases you can totally set the entire face with the compact powder or if you want that glowy look you only need to set up uh, the areas wherein you've applied concealer for you know avoiding the concealer to crease up i personally like to set my t-zone and my nose area as well because i tend to get oily and uh, yeah that's why i like to set up that it's all right if you're able to see some of the imperfections because you know everyday natural makeup looks look more natural if you're able to see some of the imperfections uh, you know from your uh, actual skin on the makeup it looks more light and natural so even if you're able to see some of the imperfection it's totally normal and it looks cute actually it looks like very effortless and minimal so if you don't like the you know marks showing or some pimple showing on your skin you can go ahead and conceal them further i personally don't mind them being visible because it looks more natural and minimal effortless and uh, yeah i'm not gonna do much to my eyebrows i'm just gonna brush them up because i really like the natural eyebrow looks so i'm just brushing them up and nothing else i'm not even gonna be filling them uh because i like you know natural brows so if you have thin brows then you can go ahead and fill them in a little bit and give it a natural look but my brows are sufficiently thick so i don't really need to fill them in right now so yeah next i'm going to move on with contouring and i'm going to be using the benefit hula bronzer i'm not actually going to like uh, perfectly contour my face but really randomly so i'm using the brush that comes with it and lighting the bronzing powder a bit here so that it lifts up my face a little bit and it looks more pretty and lifted so just really light-handedly and super randomly not even making it look perfect i'm just contouring my jawline and a bit my cheekbones for that or uh, you know soft lifted effect if you don't want the contouring thing you can totally skip it but since i have a lot of you know face pad and i have a chubby face i like to contour so i'm just randomly contouring it like super lightly then i'm gonna take a you know eyeshadow brush and just dip this inside the bronzer and apply it onto my eyes to give some depth if you don't want the brownish extra depth you can completely skip it but i really like the natural nude look that this gives to my entire look so it gives a super soft uh, touch to it it adds some depth and looks really pretty as well so yeah 
this is how it's going to look i'm not going to do anything else this is how it's going to look if you want to even make it look more minimal then you can skip this thing but i personally like to add some depth so yep all right for today's look i'm going to be using the ilana beat tint and i'm obsessed with this tint this is such a beautiful tint first of all uh, the packaging is so cute okay and this is the beet tint it is the beetroot pigmented lip and cheek tint and it looks really cute like look at the color this is it just looks so red in the bottle but it's not going to look that red trust me when you apply it and uh, the best part and the superstar thing is the applicator it has a roller applicator which really facilitates the use of the product and i'm obsessed secondly the smell of this product is to die for. It has a very pleasant um, strawberry or uh, like sweet smell and I really really like it. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to shake this a little bit so that the product touches the roller and I'm going to directly apply this here wherein I want uh, the tint to, you know, go and I'm just going to really uh, light handedly pat this onto my cheeks. This really gives your look an entire flushed and super cute uh, look when you apply the tint you can see the difference of applying the tint it looks really beautiful it gives you that flushed pink cute winter look which looks really flattering trust me and the color is really pretty it looks super natural and uh, yeah, I'm just going to apply this to this side as well. And it's really easy to blend as well. It is liquid in texture. So you really have to work quickly because it tends to settle. So you will have to, uh, you know, blend it nicely and quite quickly before it settles onto your face. And uh, oh my God, the smell is so good. So like addictive. I like it. So I really like to, you know, give my cheeks that pink flushed look so it's totally up to you if you want to you know increase the pigment you can apply more and if you really want very less of it then just or uh, you know apply very less of it and then if you wish to build it up then it's your choice apply little by little don't just go ahead and roll it up and then because it's going to look really bad if you apply everything in one go and it settles then you're going to see patches and spots so you really need to apply one side first blend it build it if needed and then go to the other side so um yeah all right next i'm going to use a cream highlighter since this is going to be a glowy look and i'm going to be using the ilana celestial pop cream highlighter plus luminizer and yeah this is the product i'm taking just this much and i'm gonna apply it there you can see it is so glowy so i'm just applying very little of the product because the then we'll see if we need to build it up or not it looks quite soft as you can see it blended in really uh, like effortlessly looks very soft and oh my god i'm in love with this this is the first time i've used the product and honestly this is looking so pretty so soft it doesn't have a uh, you know glitter chunks it really adds a natural glow to your skin which is something i really i wasn't expecting from the product it's actually really nice and creamy and beautiful i uh, usually don't tend to use cream highlighters this is my first time i've used a cream highlighter and oh my god i'm obsessed okay this looks super natural and you can even you know bring it down here so on your face looks glowy and nice it is not accentuating my uh, texture which is something i really liked about the product it looks very natural in comparison to a uh, you know powder highlighter and oh my god i'm obsessed you can see this it looks really beautiful oh my god i will highly recommend you guys to try this and it's a bit expensive though but it's definitely worth getting super super impressed with this product actually so yeah both the highlighter and the tint are so good like i'm amazed
all right for the eyes i'm just going to be using the lacme iconic volume mascara and i'm also really impressed with lacme this time the mascara is really good look at the applicator it's very like spooky and nice and it really adds a lot of volume to the lashes you're going to see how this lifts up and curls up my lashes and uh, yeah it's actually really good and it retails for 400 rupees which is quite affordable and look at the quality you're getting and this happens to me all the time i end up putting up mascara up there so yeah let me know in the comments down below if this happens with you as well so yeah The applicator is insane. You can see the volume already and uh, it's amazing actually. And it doesn't clump up your lashes, which is something I really was impressed about the product. And uh, plus it's quite affordable, easily accessible in the market. You get Lacme products in every fancy store, in every, you know, makeup beauty store. And uh, it's hands down worth you know giving a try because it's really good it has a deep black finish and uh, it's amazing you can see how instantly this has given me so much volume and it has lifted my lashes all right i did mess up the mascara a bit but please don't mind that all right and now let's do our lips and i'm gonna just you know overline my lips a little bit with the nika lips don't lie lip liner in the shade chocolate boy it's a very beautiful nude lip liner so i'm gonna just overline my lips with it So this is how I tend to overline and it looks really beautiful trust me I love overlining my lips and accentuating my lips so yeah now to fill up my lips I'm going to be using the Lacme Absolute Precision Lip Paint and this is the shade 301 Alluring Nude it's a nude color and you can see how beautiful the color is I love the texture of these paint pots they are quite pigmented and uh, look really natural that's something i really like about it so i'm going to just position that and uh, you know blend that in So this is how the look has turned out. I absolutely love the way this has turned out. It's a very simple, minimal, quick and natural looking makeup look really apt for these winters. If you want to increase the glowiness on your face, you can add more of the highlighter or even use a, you know, a powder highlighter on top. It will make it look more, you know, highlighting and glowing and uh, yeah i personally love using all the products i've used in this look they are my go-to products i use them almost every day i just uh, tried the highlighter the cream highlighter for the first time and i'm obsessed i will highly recommend you guys to try the tint and the highlighter you will love it and uh, yeah that was all for this video i really hope you enjoyed watching it and it was helpful to you if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please consider subscribing to my youtube channel i would really be really really happy and it would really mean a lot to me thank you so much for watching till here have a wonderful day ahead bye bye take care